didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus, you know Derek's not well. No? No. He's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me. Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughing stock. Cop with the famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not uh, this. Not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh -uh. We, my friend. We. You stop it. <coughs> stop? stop. Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy, not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. Bismarck Avenue. Nico, thank fuck you ants. Frankie arranged to meet me at this park on Bismarck. I think he's gonna try to kill me. Cops can kill who they like. Do you know the place? Are you close? Can you get there in time? I think I can make the meeting. You gotta take him out before he makes a move. This is Cain and Abel stuff, I'm telling you. Question is, which one of us is gonna be wandering the earth with a mark on his head, and who's gonna be six feet under, you know? This phone's running out of battery, shit! Look after me, Nico. Can't catch you any closer, buddy. Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Derek, my brother! Frankie, what's this about? I've got to say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shat myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you.
him out of the fucking blue. I really got the feeling it was him and me back there. You don't know the half. The last bit of juice I got on the thing. I want to go to... Knows this city better than me. Thank you. Did you see a fucking helicopter on your way here? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's go. Come on, quick. We gotta head towards Port Tudor. The old factory off of Auger Street. The fucking Russians have got to Charlie Mateo. They told this top Ancelotti couple that it was us that took the sugar. Who knows how the fuck they knew? I didn't tell nobody. It don't matter. What has to happen is that you gotta take out Chubby Charlie before he chops it into Algonquin to tell the commission that we're knocking off the Ancelotti's action. So I go into this factory and I ice this fat Charlie? That's right. I'm gonna go make a lot of noise so no one thinks I had anything to do with it. Now, the way I see it, there's two ways it can go down. You burst in the front and hit them in the face with everything you got. Otherwise, you slip around the back, go into the basement, and fuck them up their asses. Decisions, decisions. I'll leave it up to you. See you later. Having fun! 
we got yeah. Don't fuck with me! to worry about the fat man singing. He's lost his voice. That's a real shame. How about them swingers, huh? Great work, man. Great work. on the streets of Liberty City. What do you mean, Becky? I mean that my cop brother Francis McCreary is no longer with us. You and Jerry must be very upset. Hardly. Couldn't stand the bastard myself. That said, the only celebrating Jerry's gonna be able to do will be in prison. He got hauled in last night. Shit, is it serious? Charges ain't gonna stick, don't worry. Anyway, it means a lot to the family if you come to Francis' funeral. It's at the church in Suffolk today. I'll stop by, man. I'll see you there. Remember to wear a suit, Nico. We can't have you dressed like a bum in the church. Where are you going, oh, man? man? About the smell. I just laid some gas in here. We're all about conflict resolution in here. Hey, Kate. I'm sorry to hear about your brother. You're probably the only one. He was too much of a cop for my family to accept him, and too much of a gangster to be accepted by the cops. What did you think about him? To be honest, I thought this would have happened earlier. Then again, I expect to get a call from the coroner about any one of my brothers every day. You going to be at the funeral? Sure. I'll see you there, Kate. Goodbye. Have a good day, sir. Always, I'm getting stuck. Old. This is it. Great. Thanks.
And while no one is suggesting he was an angel, none of us are. <laughs> that is why God put us on earth and not in heaven. The trials of humanity were sometimes too much for him to bear. But he was a committed family man and a man of beliefs. God asks us to show faith, and that is what he did in his way. Francis gave so much of himself and will be sorely missed by us all. Amen. 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 Now, if you will all please join me in the procession to the cemetery. I'm, uh, sorry for your loss. I'm not. I'm sorry for Ma. I gave up on my brothers a long time ago. The most I ever expected from them was to put flowers on their coffins. Hmm. You have a strange family. Who doesn't? I don't know. Oh my god! Get the hell out of here! Are you gonna help me stop these bastards from killing any more McCreary's? There's more coming! Watch out, Nico! <laughs> Screw with you! Static American! Not enough, find you! Shit, it looks like we got more coming! Nico! Hug you! Hold them back, Nico! They're coming through the alley! Frankie's plot is in the graveyard on Colony Island, Nico. Can we put him in the ground? There's a whole lot of air where the back door should be, Nico. Go easy on her, or my brother will fall out. Don't look like they're following us no more. Thank fuck. Shit, I never thought I'd be on the run from some Albanian gangsters with a cop in the car. Can we call for backup or something? Are you suggesting that I'm a fucking cop? Oh, I thought that you were no better than that. No, you dumb European fuck. I met my brother, Francis. It was a joke. Hell of a fucking time to be making jokes about your dead brother. You know, I'm still not that fond of the guy, even in his death. I guess that's what turning cop will do to a fraternal relationship. I guess you've got enough brothers to hate one of them. Swiftly running out, Nico. Ain't got that many left. Now that Francis is on his way to the graveyard and Gerald is behind bars, all I got left is that smackhead Derek. You've got Katie. If I could have fucking guessed you'd bring her up, I was thinking you only kept those hitmen away from the church to protect my sister. I did it all for you. Sure you did, Nico. Tell yourself you did it out of the grace of your own heart rather than for another piece of your anatomy, which ain't gonna get used, I might add. Okay, this is it. We can put him in the ground now. Thanks, Nico. What for? Guys like you don't like cops. Being here, helping us out, I appreciate it. It's not that I don't like cops. You do what you do to get by. Cops are just regular guys trying to survive. Anyway, I'm not here for Francis. I'm here for you and Packy. Like I said, thanks. Give me a call sometime, Nico.
fucked up. I need to see you with my crib. How did the big real estate deal go? That cat ain't got no mission. Yeah, shut down the side and shit. Make it a memorial to union workers. Died in accident? Damn, fuck you, step on me. I got bigger problems. Come see me now. So where to? I want to go. Then here we go. That's great. What's up, money? Hey, man. Business is tough. Now, I ain't a cold person. Well, I mean, I am cold, but motherfucker. What are you talking about? You want a drink? Uh, man, have a seat, man. All right. Now, I got into this dope gang because it was the only thing that was open to me, man. The only thing, man. Hey, I am not judging. No, listen. Now, I paid my dues. Now, I learned in a hard school, man. And I changed stuff. You know me. I do this stuff so I got a chance to do some good in this town. So you say. So I say. So I do. When I get the money, man, I will build parks. I will sponsor kids. I will save lives. But I got to have the money, man. Is all this? All this, it means nothing if you ain't got the heart, Nico. Amen, brother. <laughs> I mean, fuck, man. Fuck! The thing is, you know, Jesus, he did some crazy shit, too. I mean, everyone does. He killed people. He killed that John the Baptist cat. He did what he had to. I don't think you're correct about that. Man, the point is, man, history is a long time. And you only got one chance. And Dwayne, man, Dwayne, it's like he thinks it's 1992, and the best that you could hope for is a gold chain and a pager. You know, he looks at me like he wants me dead. Now, I took care of business. I gave him money, but because I won't bow down to him and treat him like he the almighty, motherfucker wants to pop me. Dwayne is a little troubled. He was in prison a long time. Maybe you guys should talk. No, I tried talking. No, I... I tried giving him half of the business. I tried everything a man could reasonably try and still call himself a man. <laughs> so what you gonna do? Kill him? Hey, I didn't say that. Man, you cold. I was joking. But what else is there? I mean, Cash been talking. Now I hear things. Said you and me, it's too tight now. Said you disrespected him. Called him mad. He's going crazy. I mean, he's gone. Prison does that. Well, you can't kill him. Nope. But you can. But I don't want to. Well, neither do I, man. But if he goes insane, we all dead anyway. I mean, Dwayne is a killer. Uh, I don't like this conversation. Do you think that I do? But it's kill or be killed out there. You got a lunatic after you? Man, you dumb. <coughs> now, I will give you a lot of money. Because see me? Now, I ain't scared of no one. But a motherfucker says he's going to kill me, the motherfucker's going to die. Huh. Man, I'm not sure. I got to think about it. Well, I hope you see some sense. I will be in touch. I want to go. I'll take the long way.
Okay, I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. You take care I'll now. see you later. Give me a call. Hey. It's not what it looks like. Okay? It's not like that. We talk. So do us all a favor and keep quiet. Sure. But Phil, and I don't mean to take advantage, but maybe I need help on time. Maybe I can give you a call. What do you mean? <sighs> I mean... I need to find something out about someone. Maybe you can help. Are you fucking blackmailing me? No! I'm asking for a favor. Why do you think I put my neck on the line for you? Because I need help with something. You know, since you don't look like you're full of crap, how could I say no? Enough of this chit-chat. Come on, let's go. We're heading back up to that old house off Beaverhead Avenue in West Dyke. It's about time to pick up that H that my nephew's been sitting. He's just been sitting there? Yeah, call it a cooling off period. We took it, but we don't know who was watching it beforehand. So you just left it with Frankie? Yeah, we put it in an isolated place. Hopefully any attention it was getting would be noticed. Frankie's one guy who can disappear real easy if the fence should. Plus, he's a smart kid. He's related to my ex-wife, and she was smart enough to ruin my life with one lawsuit. So it's been long enough? You think we're going to be okay to pick it up? No trouble? Look, I don't ever assume something's gonna go down easy without any trouble. That's what keeps me alive and out of the pen. We'll see when we get there. As long as we don't see any helicopters, vans, suspicious gardeners talking into earpieces, if none of that's going on, then we're okay. Yeah, you fucking laugh. Laugh all you want. Feds love this speed. There you are. Frankie, you've been keeping your eyes open out here. You seen anyone snooping around? I ain't seen a soul, boss. It's a ghost house. I got the horse loaded into two cars for you. I don't know, this don't feel right. Shit, Frankie, you dumb fuck! The feds have been watching us all along! Nico, get in that car and follow me! Out. My ma's kind of sick. I've been looking after her. And my sister? I've been putting her through college. Shut up! These feds are all over me. I'm sorry, man. It's just, I only got married the other day. God, I love that kid. You want to see a picture? I don't want to see a fucking picture. 
I'm trying to get us out of this situation. You may be taking to spend time with your wife instead of some jailhouse bitch. The feds don't fuck with the boss and get away with it. Get close to them! Speed up, Nico! We're screwed otherwise! Nico, grab the stuff from the trunk and follow me. I got a van we could use. More fucking bacon, shit! I don't like using this van. the job. This ain't a fucking joke. You got a wife, you got a mom, don't play around with your life. Don't play around with other people's lives either. I don't want to take a bullet or a stint in the pen for anyone else's fuck up. All right, guys. Shit. I'm sorry.
Jesus. Sometimes I wish I could just go inside and forget about all this. Nico, you've done good for me. There's been some fucked up shit going on, but you've been keeping cool. You're a good earner. I got respect for you. Hey, let's see if we get back before you start talking like this, shall we? This ain't over until we got the H in the safe place. You're damn right. Nice driving, Nico. We're gonna be able to shift this H for a lot of money. Might just keep the Begarino family's head above water. See you around. Hey, Cap! So, uh... Wait, uh, don't play with the windows. Thank you very much. Alright, man. You got any work for me? I have a client with a problem. You'll get your normal rate to assist them with it. The target is in Alderney City. You're being relied on to eliminate it.
Jerry. I heard you've been locked up. I'm sorry to hear that. We gotta discuss something. I put you on the visitors list here. You come down. Buddy! I want to go... Got it. Here we are, man. End of the line. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry about your brother. Uh, me and Francis were never exactly close, but he was my brother, and it hurts. Poor bastard. He believed in something once. That's a hell of a lot better than me, I guess. <laughs> Fuck, I'll miss him. How are you? In here? Fine. Time of my life. Goddamn time of my life. What you up for? A lot of things, racketeer and armed robbery, a bunch of shit I never did because I was always a well-behaved family man who occasionally liked to drink, but nothing more. Of course, like us all. Like us all. But the thing is, I think I should make some changes in my life. Stop with the drink. Put it down. Stop hanging out with the wrong sort. Can you help me do that? It is a final chance at redemption. Look, whatever you want, I will do my best to help. Good. Give Packy a call. He'll explain what, uh, I need guidance with the most. The areas where I have strayed furthest from the path. See ya. Kidnap old man Ancelotti's daughter. Some fake tan, dyed haired, Guido loving slut by the name of Grace. She's selling her tasteful pink felter on auto erotica at the moment. Get online, organize a viewing, and snatch that bitch. When you got her, bring her to a place we got on an alleyway off Sacramento. I can do that. You can do anything, Nico. Don't let her on that you're kidnapping her near her place. Play along with a test drive for a while to get her out of there. It's a real mobbed up area, and they'll come down on you. Damn heavy. Aren't you going to hell? One of my fucking brothers just got shot and another one's in the pen. Someone's gotta be with my mom. this city better than me. Thank you. Can I get you a smoke a lot a latte? Thank you very much. Right here! Your parents were right, eh? 
hate you. Can you take me to Babbage Drive? Okay. Let's do it. Great, thanks. No way. Hell no! You're the guy who calls about the car? The one with the sexy accent? <laughs> you mind if I take a test drive? You can test drive whatever you want. I love riding in cars with you European types. My family's from Italia, you know, somewhere in the south. Why don't you drive towards the south coast? We can enjoy the day. They sure teach you to drive in Europe. I'm Gracie, by the way. Hey, Gracie, why are you selling this car? Seems pretty good. Let's just say that me and the LCPD have had a few disagreements about blood alcohol levels. How's girl meant to get back to Albany after a big night out in Algonquin if she's not drunk driving? She could stay sober. You sound like my dad. I've always been told I was a fast girl. There's no such thing as sober in that place. No fucking way. If I stick to booze, it's a miracle. I couldn't get in. Are you used to driving on the other side of the road or something? You should calm down one night. I don't know if it would be my scene. I'll tell everyone you're a big Russian oil guy or an arms dealer. We'll get fucked up and they'll love you. Before you know it, you'll have your own booth, table service, a whole scene. We'll see. After you. I mean, this is a kidnapping. Control yourself, remain calm, and you might just walk away from this with your life. Oh my fucking god, you fucking pervert! That's it, fuck when I am calling daddy, and he ain't gonna treat you as polite as I do, that's for sure. You're not calling shit, bitch. You're coming with me. You motherfucker, you sick bastard, you creep! Stop this thing, you slime bag! Stop being such a fucking bitch! I am not just letting you take me! Yes, you are! Goodbye! Enjoy your shit life! This ain't goodbye, bitch! Calm the fuck down, or little birdies will be eating your brains off the dashboard tomorrow morning. The moment I saw you, I knew you were an overcompensator, making up for your one-inch punch with fast cars and guns. You seen the last of me? I really wish that was true. I'm gonna make you crash this thing! I don't think so. Fucking with the wrong girl, asshole. I am Gracie Ancelotti, and I... Shut up, peace at last. One rock, you are going to let you close the bed, yeah? No can do, J. 
Jacob. I've got a girl with me, and uh, <laughs> I don't think it would be appropriate. But let's speak soon, though, huh? There he is. Stevie, dump the car. I'll take this piece of ass. Guys, the beach better be worth the trouble. The pile's got some serious cash. And he pissed off Gerald. That's reason enough for me. Well, he better pay quick. I hate to think of the fight she'll put up if you try to cut her fingers off. <laughs> <laughs> 